a six cents out of a nickel thought of the day. Kind of a dreary day and a little bit windy, so I hope the audio turns out okay on this. It's also, I see starting to rain a little bit. Hopefully I'm under a large enough canopy here that I'm not gonna be get, getting too wet. I wanna know, whatever happened to debating? Why doesn't anyone debate anymore? Uh, debating is the art where people used to go point counterpoint with their arguments. They'd start off with a premise and they'd go point counterpoint in order to try to find an acceptable truth, probably somewhere in between the two. No one seems to do that anymore. It's like you, I have an opinion and if you don't agree with my opinion, then you're just flat out wrong. Is it the fact that the world has become so subjective that you can create your own reality and live in it? despite the absence of well-established fact? Or is it something more sinister? Like people have something to gain by making other people believe certain things that aren't true. I think both of those things are players on the field, but I also think there's another factor at play here. No one seems to have a basic math or scientific knowledge on how things work. And that's really important. If you don't know how things work, everything is just magic and just comes out of thin air. That, that way, anything is possible. Well, anything is not possible. There are well-established facts that are based in math and science, and when you ignore them, bad things happen. And these things can range from harmless and laughable to very serious life or death consequences. Now, I don't like identifying problems without offering some kind of a solution, so uh, what do we do about this? How do we make communication between each other more harmonious and cooperative. First of all, I think schools have a role to play in this. Instead of just passing people along so they can remain with their peers, I think they should probably be a little bit more focused on giving people the basic math, science, language skills in order to participate in a more civilized society. Second of all, I think those of us with some knowledge in science and math and language, we need to speak up. We need to become a little bit louder. Um, our voices have been silenced a lot by the people who just want to push their agenda and they don't have uh, a rational knowledge of the way things actually work. Listen, if you know how things work, be loud, be proud. That's about the only way we're going to fight misinformation in all fields. And thirdly, I think we need to understand that we're all being misled in one way or another. There is nobody that's on a side that's being told the unvarnished truth about anything anymore. We all need to be a little bit more open to the fact that maybe the other side of the equation has something to say and we need to listen, not just speak. And on that note, now that I've had something to say, I'd like to hear from you. What are some of the ways that you can see that we can help improve communication so you so each party can get their point across and everyone can feel like they've been heard. Because at its very core, that's what a debate is. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for more content. Thank you very much. Until next time.